guys, it's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan, and I'm back with another video. Yes, I have on the same clothes that I have in another video because I'm doing it at the same time and the same day, so mind your business. So today we're going to make a vegan cornbread, and this is a very easy, quick, if you can't make this recipe, then I really don't know what to say. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but it's super easy, okay? But we're gonna use Jiffy Cornbread, the vegetarian mix. Isn't Jiffy already vegan slash vegetarian? No, it's not. So the regular Jiffy Cornbread muffin mix has lard in it, which is pork fat. So y'all been eating pork, all y'all people say, I don't eat pork, but you still eat Jiffy Cornbread. You have been eating pork. Sorry, but yeah. And the reason why it says vegetarian instead of vegan is because this recipe calls for milk and eggs, but obviously we're not gonna use that. So the type that we're doing today is gonna be with a flax egg. Normally I would use banana, but I'm out, so this is not my banana cornbread. This is my vegan jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Let me tell you everything you guys are gonna need. Jeffy, obviously, two boxes. Half a stick of melted butter, vegan butter. Ground flax. Um, this is just some follow your heart cheddar that I had left. And honestly, this is like perfectly enough. I don't need a whole bunch. A little over a half a cup of jalapenos. A greased muffin tin or pan. You don't have to do minis or separate ones if you don't want. Plant-based milk. And I recommend unsweetened original almond milk or unsweetened original soy milk. Whatever milk you use, just let it be original unsweetened. Apple cider vinegar for our buttermilk. We're gonna go ahead and do our flax egg first because that takes the longest to sit. So for those of you who don't know, how you make a flax egg is one tablespoon of ground flax and three tablespoons of warm water. And you just let it sit. So that's what we're gonna do. Since I'm using only two boxes, I only need two eggs. So that's two tablespoons of ground flax and six tablespoons of water. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mix it up a little bit and set it to the side. So our buttermilk, let's see, this recipe requires for one box, it requires you to use one third of a cup of milk. So obviously two thirds cup of milk. That's about two thirds of a cup. And then we're gonna just put in, I eyeball this part, maybe a half of a tablespoon. Kind of mix that up. And now we're gonna go ahead and mix up our cornbread. Or I guess you, I guess pour it in our bowl. It's not really much to mix up. It's like child proof. What'd you say, Mama? Yeah. You said, or elf proof? No, okay. Never that. I'm not an elf. Ooh, you're an angry elf. We see who's not gonna get anything for Christmas this year. <laughs> Dang, took long enough. And you don't have to use Jiffy if you don't want to. You can make homemade, from scratch, all the way cornbread. If you do that, more power to you, boo, because I ain't got time. I will if I don't have Jiffy, but why? So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and grab our buttermilk. Mm -hmm. And add that. We're gonna go ahead and add our egg. Mm -hmm. I'm so mad about not having any bananas. But oh well, I'm really trying to use up what I have in my house. I don't really want to have to go out and buy new stuff if I don't have to. Because I'm letting things expire because I don't use it. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our butter, our melted butter. This is not on the box. This is optional. You really don't have to, but why wouldn't you? You want it to taste good. And just mix that up really well. Okay, so this is pretty mixed up. And the batter is gonna be slightly lumpy, so don't don't be discouraged if it's like you can't get it super smooth because it's not supposed to be super smooth. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in our jalapenos and our cheese. Y'all, this is super easy, like, you're gonna be mad at yourself that you haven't been making it. 
because it's too easy not to okay and this is how it's gonna look big old mess um if you want it to have that nice crown top you should let it rest for like maybe five to ten minutes it's really up to you i'm impatient and i'm not going to and i also forgot i do like to add a little bit of jalapeno juice and this is just a regular spoon so one two three four spoonfuls of jalapeno juice perfect now you don't have to add that jalapeno juice if you don't want it just gives it a little extra kick and we really like that in this house we like a spicy you know all right let me go ahead and spoon it in I'm not gonna fill these up because these are actually really big. They're more like big cupcakes. All right, so there we have that and it's gonna go into the oven. I'm gonna bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes. It's really up to you. Um, I just want them to be pretty and brown. So how you know if they're done, if you're not an experienced baker or just somebody who cooks often, you just insert a toothpick and if the toothpick comes out clean, they're done. If it comes out with a little bit of moisture on it, like a little bit of wetness, they're not done. So bake them a little bit longer. And if you're not sure and your oven's a little different, just check on it every like three to five minutes, you know? But overall, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes. So let me put these in, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so they're all finished. <laughs> Super yummy jalapeno cheddar cornbread muffins or mini cornbreads or whatever you want to call them this is how it looks all the jalapeno we goodness let's break it apart Ooh, look at that yeah that looks legit you guys there you have it very easy very quick easy jalapeno cheddar cornbread using vegetarian jiffy mix who to thunk? <laughs> yeah, but you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And you know what? You might as well go ahead and share this with your friends. Make it for your family. And if you do make it, I want to see it. So if you post it on Facebook or Instagram, or even if you don't have social media and you want me to see it, email it to me. Pineapplevegan at gmail.com. I want to see it. But if you do post it, tag me. Yes. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.